Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and I am filming after a really really long time. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on my Instagram if you don't already. So today's video is about filming uh, Get Ready With Me, a birthday Get Ready With Me even though I'm filming this after one month of my birthday but I just wasn't feeling motivated enough to do it, just being honest. So if you want to know a little bit about me and want to know how I created this look or either or uh, stick through. I put up a question tag on my Instagram asking you to ask me a few questions uh, and I wanted to get ready on camera while answering some of them. Now I do not have a big following on Instagram. I have around 700 people following me but those 700 people are very very precious to me. So yes, but you don't need to have a million followers to do a video like this. So without delaying it any further, let's just begin with the video. Okay, cool. Mm. Okay, so here I have all the questions, okay? And um, the uh, question tag that I had put on Instagram was um, ask me anything except for my age. So obviously a lot of questions were about my age and obviously there is nothing to be shy in that. Uh, let me start my makeup. Uh, also, in case I miss talking about any product, it will all be in the description box below. Uh, this is the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 in the shade 04. Also, I already did my skin prep with uh, the simple uh, Kind to Skin Hydrating Light Moisturizer. This is amazing. Professional by Benefit as my primer in my T-zone. And I have nothing else on my skin right now and I'm going to begin with the foundation. So yeah, the first question was, how old are you? So on June 17th, I turned, do you want to take a guess? I turned uh, 27 and uh, there's honestly nothing to be shy about, dude. I in fact see it as an achievement that, uh, okay, another year I did not give up, another year I survived. I am honestly not at all shy about accepting my age and 27 is not that old <laughs> it's just that every year as you grow older you feel like oh shit i am legit old now i feel that every year so it's okay Okay, moving on to concealer, I'm using the e.l.f. Uh, Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish and um, I'm going to combine the next two questions uh, that are most important person in your life and your role model. So people who know me at a personal level already know what I'm about to say. Without a doubt, it's my dad and uh, Okay, maybe I'm saying it because he's my dad, you know, we all feel like that about our parents. But honestly, I feel like even if he was not my dad and I would have known about him, I would think he is so, so, so amazing. Oh my God, what is this sticking out? Yeah, so without a doubt and without getting into details, it has to be my father. He is the bravest person I know. He is a warrior. He has so much willpower and I am who I am today because of him. I mean, whatever little like I am, whatever I have in my life right now today is because of the way I've been shaped seeing him while growing up. He didn't even have to do anything. He just had to be himself. So without a doubt, it's my dad. He is the best. Fathers are the best. Okay, so the next question is, uh, how do you feel about your Instagram journey? Now, I know there aren't too many people watching me, but it's okay. It's a journey. You don't like 
start with a million or even a thousand people watching you you always start off with a few hundreds and you should value those few hundreds because they've been there with you from the beginning so i uh, started making content on instagram in 2020 during covid um in um, march or april so it's been almost one and a half years and to be honest i i'm highly demotivated and i'm not even making content there anymore because that's a whole other story i've just been too discouraged i've i put in everything i could <laughs> for one and a half years and i'm not somebody who uh, cribs a lot you know i i work uh, i i just believe in silent action but for how long will you do it you know so yeah i have been making it making a uh, content on instagram for uh, um, almost one and a half years reached about around a 700 followers but my thinking changed uh, along the process so the thing is when you start what you always want to start right you do so much you fight your inner demons you uh, overcome all your insecurities you stop thinking about what the world is going to think of uh, you know you posting makeup videos or whatever videos and you finally do that and you're like i'm here but then instagram's just like yeah so what so are a million others so you just you know it becomes very like you feel like just another person very very quickly so that's what happened with me i wanted to make videos since i was literally little but i never found the time genuinely never found the time even right now i work a 9 to 5 and i am doing this whenever i can find the time solely because i love the process i fell in love with the process of making videos content creation and i love makeup like even right now my skin is just doing horrible <laughs> and i am so demotivated i had to give myself the biggest like pep talk today to start filming but i want to feel better is why i am filming because i'm doing my makeup and makeup for me is very very therapeutic there have been more than like 100 times that i've actually sat down and just done my makeup just to feel better so that's honestly how i feel about it and no matter what everyone tells you you know what just keep at it be consistent and all of that at the end of it if you're not getting returns it becomes very demotivating trust me and i try to stay very very positive but it's hard it's it's hard i mean i am i mean if if you keep getting returns if you see like something happening you will feel motivated to keep making videos right but that didn't happen with me i had set a goal for myself okay by the end of one year i should have like so and so number of followers but that's just not how it works and i didn't want to go like any other way other than the organic way because what's the point you don't at the end of it you're not reaching your like audience my thought process changed along the way started like talking to so many people who felt the same way about makeup i talked to them even right now i have i've met so many people because of my page who i wouldn't have met otherwise right and like i keep thinking i'm like you know seven to eight people that i've met who i feel like even if i go to their country now i can go like meet them and chill with them and that's happened because of my page and everything happens for a reason at the end of it so i feel like if there isn't a future to this why would i have come across these people um i don't know that's just how i feel and that's how i feel motivated the little bit that i do now so yeah i feel like everything happens for a reason i'm still trying to stay positive i'm still um, trying to make content and uh, i'm just hoping like it works out because i truly truly love makeup uh, by the way i had used the nyx hd photogenic wand uh, to brighten my center portion of the face next to set my face i'm using the fit me loose powder in the shade light 15 next question are you single every single time i do a q and a on my um page this is a question i have to get so to answer your question no i am not single i am very very happily committed 
to a wonderful person and uh, yeah next question was your favorite uh, birthday memory to be honest there are i can't like put a finger on one you know because every like birthday is has its own um, what do you say like celebratory spirit and uh, but to like name uh one maybe it was in the initial days of my long distance i was in a long distance for many many years and um, yeah i uh had called over a few friends and all of that and suddenly these bunch of people who showed up with like balloons my favorite cake my favorite cupcakes from glens if you're from bangalore um lanterns and uh, party hats and uh, gifts and like all of that and i was just like what is even happening and um turns out um uh my boyfriend he had you know or contacted this event organization company and they all like basically came there to surprise me like he would have if he would have been there with me so that was really special it ended with uh, releasing lanterns into the sky it was very very special for me and also this birthday i um got a hamster <laughs> um so yeah that was also really special as i said every birthday for me has its own little like feeling so yeah okay next question is are you an animal lover i love animals so more than humans actually and uh, yeah there are a lot of people who tell me shali i we haven't met a person who hates humans as much as you but it's not even that i just feel like animals are precious they are just the most wonderful like god sent on our planet and we should respect them and treat them with the love and respect they deserve in fact uh, i have a tattoo here of dedicated to my two dogs this was my first tattoo ever and i decided to do it for my two dogs because i knew tattoos are something that a lifelong and i was young when i was getting this so i was like okay i'm never going to stop loving animals so definitely this has to be my first tattoo in fact everywhere i go for some reason like dogs just come to me on their own you know uh, not just dogs i love pigs i love uh, cows i love like animals in general uh, so yeah i hope that answered your question next question was aapki twacha ka raaz <laughs> dude this is my twacha okay and i have very very sensitive skin i do so much skin care it's not even funny but no matter what i do break out because i like end up like consuming dairy or you know something or the other for that matter Yeah, I do a lot for my skin um because of how sensitive it is. I take supplements, I don't I try to avoid dairy. I try to avoid junk. I try to I do my skin care very very religiously. I wear my SPF every single day. I try to consume lots of water. I take berries for it. To be very honest, uh, your skin can't just start looking good if you're doing your skin care it's everything it's your health from within it's you making sure that you don't have any other problem that's a whole other like video i feel which i will do in the future but yeah there is no raz it is just a lot of lot of hard work and yet getting acne no matter what <laughs> by the way i'm using the nika ke birthday cake palette and i'm using this turquoise color from here and uh, oh my god i cannot recommend these palettes enough these nikake palettes i also thought i'll use this but i'm not using this i'm just using this one 
and dude these are so good so what i'm doing is that i'm taking uh, this color little by little tapping it off and building this color up next question is it looks like you have never entered the kitchen <laughs> oh my god the exact opposite actually in fact like my friends fight with me like stop cooking let's go out let's go out and eat <laughs> you name it and i can cook it i can cook everything and i can cook very well my mother is an amazing cook she while growing up she was i was that girl who's shrali's mom cooks amazing food and uh, i picked it up from her you know once you move out of your house there is no way that you will not cook when you crave your home food i mean the food that you grow up eating who's going to feed you you have to feed yourself you have to cook it yourself so yeah also i don't think you should um, you know that is something that anyone anyone should um, you know take pride in that oh i can't cook i mean dude it's a survival skill you need to know the basics at least for sure i uh, i definitely know way more than the basics uh, i know a lot of cooking to be honest because i enjoy cooking it's therapeutic for me not as much as makeup next question or i don't even know if it's a question it has a dot it looks like you are 21 i am flattered i am so happy thank you so much <laughs> i mean that's the goal right i mean who wants to look old dude but yeah i i'm flattered thank you so much next question what is your sun sign and do you believe in astrology my birthday was on june 17th i'm a gemini astrology yeah i do actually quite a bit but i'm definitely not blinded by it like i am i like like i'm just a curious person i want to know a lot of things so out of curiosity yes i have i did like dive into astrology and uh, my dad knows how to read hands and all of that and um, yeah i do relate with uh, a you know a general like gemini persona i am very very typically a gemini like i'm either like this or i'm that next question how do you feel about reels okay i'm going to sound like a granny when i say this but when i started making instagram videos honestly like i would put a video out and i wouldn't get views my hashtags wouldn't work weirdly i don't know why like i thought like hashtags were supposed to give you maximum reach but they honestly don't i don't know what like is up with hashtags like i would go under like each hashtag and my post wouldn't appear under it so i used to like feel really bad i'm just like i'm making content like okay fine like somebody liking it or not is secondary but step one is to at least reach people if i'm making something there should be something that's at least you know making it reach people okay after that they can decide if they like my video or not but uh yeah that's when like I think that was the first uh, few months of uh, me making videos uh where I would just put up like those one minute posts and all of that and I wouldn't like get as many views and all of that and then I used to think like there should be something to like something that just puts your video out there and that's when like reels came in so i'm actually honestly very very thankful for reels i mean i'm very split on uh, the idea of reels okay this is the reason i love reels because uh, as a creator as a new creator especially reels are amazing they directly put your video on the explore page so you will get views for sure and then like your likes and all of that depend on the sort of content or you know how much people like your video or not but at least like you're getting an opportunity to like uh, you know have your content seen on uh, an explore page so uh yeah and of course like i'm sure you all would have heard about the instagram instagram algorithm changing and all of that that was a whole other thing man like that is another reason i'm so demotivated i don't like making uh videos anymore to be very honest it doesn't even reach people so what's the point and uh, that's how like a lot of good content creators stopped 
you know making videos because of this shitty algorithm uh, so yeah that is why i love reels because if i put something i know it's at least reaching people and the second why i don't is because in not even like that i don't it's just that i mean it's a very good thing that it push it pushed me to like learn um doing transitions and all of that i mean there is no other there's no way i would have like learned so many new things if not for making reels as transition videos and all of that but also like i feel like because of reels everybody has to become like had to become like an actor or like have that like dancey personality and all of that i mean that's not my personality i can't like fake it i can't like you know like if i'm doing my makeup i want to be very very like focused on doing my makeup max i can do is talk while doing my makeup but i can't like act and like i'm not an actor makeup is my passion not acting so i mean kudos to people who can do both i mean there are amazing people who like you know like they uh, they hum to the uh, you know the lyric properly and then their makeup also turns out amazing i mean amazing amazing for people who can do that but that's not my personality i'm not comfortable uh, dancing in front of a camera so i just feel like i mean there were so many people who were like do do that do that like your reach will increase like and all of that but i'm just like but that's just not my personality so i just never did that on reels or uh, max i did was um oh shit one sec as i was saying like i just feel like if that's not your personality it becomes very hard you know i mean that's my opinion at least so that's how i feel about reels it's amazing it puts you on the main page but uh, also like if the dancey singing like all of that is not your personality like you know it gets a bit hard to like keep increasing your views that's just my opinion doing this line or took me so long oh my god that's why i say like i can't i just can't like talking and like doing my makeup is taking me so long so if i have to like start acting and doing my makeup and all means i can't i'm just quickly going to do this eye off camera next question is you look like you have no problems in life <laughs> i mean come on man like how can you even like how can anyone even be asking a question like this to anyone in this day age and time everyone has problems i mean it's it's just about what sort of problem you're dealing with i mean i understand like uh, the privileges we have like i have at least right now i mean because i can only talk about myself that i have this camera i have my phone i have makeup i have like other things but it's honestly about the theory of actualization right like obviously i uh, i'm lucky i'm blessed and i accept my privilege that i don't have to think about uh, food shelter uh, and all of that but that doesn't mean that like life is perfect in fact like nowadays the only time that i'm actually feeling fine are on the days that i'm filming and on the days that i'm editing and on the days that i'm uploading a video because i am the sort of person who cannot i cannot post on social media if i'm not happy <laughs> i mean not the best uh for someone who wants to become a content creator but it is what it is i just can't like get myself to you know like post something if i'm not feeling happy i just i just can't like even right now like i was i pushed myself to like come feel put on some makeup feel good i thought like it'll help me feel better but dude once this camera is off there's a whole life to live there's a whole like reality there's a there's so much to deal with like right now there are 100 things on my mind but i can't you know start talking about them on camera like there my problems to deal with right oh 
more shit. So I don't think that should even be a question. Everyone has problems. We can't just, you know, assume that people don't. In fact, uh, I write. I love writing. Writing is again something that I have been doing since I was little. It gives me peace. I've always spoken about this. I mean, there are so many things, even beyond what people tell you, your friends would be telling you. There are things that you're dealing with over here and not telling people. So that is a totally false assumption, not just about me, but about anyone. Everyone has issues, trust me. I've used a uh, black coal on my waterline. And I've used uh, this purple glitter on my lower lash line from the same birthday palette. So I'm taking this Kiko Milano glitter eyeliner in multicolor and I want to put it on in this area basically. Just halfway through, not completely. love love this glitter eyeliner it can be used for so much now the thing with this is you have to let it dry it's basically glitter uh, dispersed in uh, glue and if if i just sit like this it will dry properly but because i'm talking and my eyes are open it will like uh, smudge a bit so i'll correct it later for mascara i'm using Too faced better than sex the travel size I love this mascara, it makes your eyelashes look so fluttery. Okay, next question. I'm doing my eyebrows now. I'm using Benefits Cabrow in 05. And uh, yeah, so the next question was Do you have any phobia? Yes, I do. I have a major, major, major phobia of lizards. Like, it is something that I don't even want to work on. Like, I get so freaking scared. I mean, of course, there have been times where I have stood and forced myself to stare at a lizard and I've told myself, what is the lizard's fault? What has it even done to you that, like, you're so worried? But I don't know. It's just something that I can't explain. It's, it's just something that I've not been able to overcome and I don't think I will be able to. I mean, I hope I do, but I am very scared. The first thing I do before entering a room is check for lizards. Or oh, I'm just, especially in India, I mean, I am, I am terrified. And my dad always tells me, he's like, it's just another living being. Um, he's like, it's so little. I'm just like, it's not about the size. It's, it's just something, I don't know. I mean, phobia is described as irrational fear. So there's honestly nothing rational about it. So yeah, I'm terrified of lizards. I'm using uh, the Essence uh, Make Me Brow Next to just set my brows in place. Next question, what do you prefer? Makeup or skincare? No question there, it's 100% skincare and always will be, I mean, I love makeup of course but your makeup can only look as good as your skin feels underneath you know I'm using the elf uh, mini blush and highlighter duo in guava this they say is a dupe for nars orgasm so 
in case you want to save a few bucks this is a good option my battery off the camera is running low next question was what sort of problems do you face while filming videos finally enough i'm keeping a straight face on right now but i was about to cry <laughs> i had tears in my eyes just now because i as i said i have i film i'm filming after a very long time today i pushed myself to and uh, my sd card while filming got corrupted i was sitting like that for the past one hour with makeup on my face not being able to film uh, but yeah i luckily managed to find another sd card and i'm filming now so this is just an example there are a lot of things like this that happen and uh, yeah it's a part and process of uh, content creation for my lips now i'm going to use um, wet and wild chestnut lip liner my lipstick i'm using one of my favorite shades by nyx it's called abu dhabi it's also in my top nude lipsticks video if you haven't checked that out please do and that color is just beautiful and one other thing that i want to do and i always do is that i take a little bit of my blush okay and i just place it in the center of my lip here it just ties the whole look together i feel that is the final look my camera battery was running out and i forgot to add highlighter so i'm quickly going to do that right now i just want to highlight my nose and eyes i'm going to skip my uh, cheeks because as i said my skin is not doing too well i have some texture here i don't want to add any more unnecessary product there i'm using the mast chrome um, molten gold do let me know how you liked the look i am pretty happy with how it has turned out thank you so much if you stuck through the entire video i'll see you in my next video until then please stay home stay safe stay happy don't be rude to people unnecessarily and follow me on my instagram and subscribe to my channel over here and also uh, click the little bell icon next to it so that every time i post a video you get a notification and don't miss out and i get views that's the only way we grow here thank you and have a nice day